Yeah, first, the way we look at cloud, it is an evolution of the data center architecture you have today. And it is clearly the next generation IT architecture. And the good thing for a company like Cisco, and I think also for, for IS, it, it is the most centric IT architecture ever. Um, that's the way we look at it. And it gives you different business model opportunities because it is not the cloud. You have certain elements. And I think we try to break it down in three different elements. It is an opportunity to consume IT differently. You don't need to operate it on your own. And then you have an opportunity to either take something like what we call software as a service. So you take software. The application is not on your PC. It is central in the data center. And ideally, you can use it on any device. The second you can do is what we call platform as a service. So you're offering entire platforms. So IT can build business on it. And the third element, which is what we see a lot right now, is something we call infrastructure as a service. So you can use data center, storage capability, compute capability, which are in a data center and connected via network. I think there could be three winners in, with the arrival of the cloud as a next generation IT architecture. Obviously, it's a customer which can, can operate IT better, decide what he wants to operate and what he wants to get as a kind of a hosted cloud-based services. It is obviously the networking company which build the architecture, but I think the big benefit comes to a company like IS because you have all the elements, right? Coming from a telco provider, from TP, gives you the network, gives you the experience because you've been providing all kind of managed services in the past like virtual private network services and now we have the opportunity to add on and enrich the customer experience. So I honestly think you have a kind of an unfair advantage because you bring the best of both worlds together for the customers. Cloud is at the end an evolution of the data center and if you go into the data center it is an area where we did not see a lot of innovation in the last decade or maybe even in the 20 years. It was always a server, an application on the server and then we had the virtualization, people start to having more out of it. But we are now at a phase and this is what we bring with the unified compute systems, the UCS system, that you can combine actually server, compute power, storage and network and that change really the economics and it's a heart of any piece of private or public cloud. And uh, while people say a company like Cisco cannot be successful in the data center, I think it is a surprise to everybody that in 18 months we fundamentally changed the market and today we're the number two in the United States of America in plate service. I don't think at any time in the data center any company has shown what we could do thanks to companies like yourself. So, um, and I think we're just off the beginning of a data center and with this one a network centric revolution. Cloud is used for a lot of companies to bring costs down, right? It's not the only reason. The other reason is to enable business better. And if we really try to understand what's going on in the business, it's clearly that we had in a very challenging situation in some countries which obviously had huge public sector debts. But you look at the enterprise side, the companies which are operating on a global base, they have their best time ever. If you look at the car manufacturing of companies like, like, like BMW, Audi, Mercedes, or the German companies, they have record numbers. And still, the majority of the companies producing good so do something really good actually they have good results nobody knows what's going to happen in the next six or twelve months so we are cautious but you just saw our latest results we announced very very solid results actually better than expected and we also gave better than expected guidance for the next quarter so our project we take it quarter by quarter um, and then we work as close we can with the customer to solve their biggest business problems And clearly we see fundamental different dynamics in the business. We classed out very briefly in Europe in three tiers. One is a Nordic economy, which is typically very, very innovative, really uses technology. I would add Switzerland clearly to it, right? With an attractive environment. Then you would say the Central Europe environment, and I would cluster Poland in this one, is a very solid environment, particular Poland for us, very, very strong in the last six months and we have a lot of actually belief that Poland will be a, a leader for us in the, uh, in the economic situation and we see the advantage with technology. And then you have the third tier of the economy, which is clearly some countries in Southern Europe, which are having some fundamental, some fundamental challenge. So it is very mixed um, and we need to treat it very mixed, but if I really look to Poland, I think Poland for the economy in Europe and clearly for our combined business can be and will be a lead engine.